Hey everyone, it's Zach. Today we're bringing fall decorating inside on Deck the Home. All right, welcome back everyone. So today we're gonna to be jumping into decorating inside for fall and I'm starting with the mantle. I like starting with the mantle for fall because it is a center piece for most people's homes. It's a nice focal point. And um, my fall decorating takes on a little bit of a different approach versus other holidays, maybe like Christmas. I tend to focus on key areas around the home that make the most impact the mantle being one of them. So I have a bunch of different things here. I have um, a ton of pumpkins, um, faux pumpkins, they're styrofoam. Um, I have some other various decorative elements behind me here on the hearth. And so I'm gonna play around with this and see what works. And um, once I finish, I'll come back and kind of walk you through the decisions that I made. All right, let's get started. All right, so I hope you guys saw how easy and quick that was to really transform your mantle for fall. So I wanna walk you through uh, some of my decisions a little bit and kind of how I styled this. So before shooting this video today, I had decided I wanted to use this red uh, vase from Pottery Barn somehow, some way. Um, I really only used it at Christmas and maybe fall one year, but I really liked it. It's a nice deep red color, which plays off the compass really well. And when thinking about what to fill it with, I was looking at our yard and I found that our hydrangeas were really beautiful this year. And so I wanted to bring them inside so we could continue to enjoy them. So if you've never dried hydrangeas before, it's super simple. All you have to do is cut them, put them in about an inch to two inches of water, and then let them sit. They'll naturally dry on their own. They'll preserve their color. So I have colors like reds and blues, and I had some hydrangeas that had kind of lost the blue and it turned kind of green again, which were really pretty. And so after they dry, you're just left with those beautiful paper-like blooms. They'll feel like crepe paper, um, and that's how you know that they're dry. So really, really pretty. And then I wanted to fill in with some pumpkins around it. Um, I had pulled orange pumpkins because typically when we think of fall, we think of orange. Um, you know, orange is that, that signature fall color. Orange doesn't really work in this room too well. It's just, it's really loud. Um, and I wanted something a little bit more soothing. Last year, I filled this mantle with pumpkins. It was a full pumpkin patch with bittersweet and leaves and twigs. And it was, it was beautiful. But I just decided last year, I was like, this was a lot, a little busy. So I wanted to scale it back a little bit. Um, so I had played around with you saw me play around with the orange pumpkins a little bit over here. I really just didn't like the way it looked. Um, but I did see this pillow at Home Goods a couple weeks ago, and it was a green pillow, it had green pumpkins on it, cut out from velvet and kind of stitched and everything. It was very pretty, and I thought, you know, this they're onto something here. So um, always look for inspiration. It's all around you, even when you're shopping at Home Goods. Um, so I added some pumpkins. These are faux pumpkins. You can pick them up at Walmart, Target, Michaels, Joann's, insert long list of craft stores wherever they sell fall decor. But um, when shopping for pumpkins, I really love to get a variety of sizes and shapes. So again, it kind of feels more natural. So I've kind of got this little squat 
squatty guy over here. I've got this guy who's really round. This one's kind of abnormal and it's kind of large, but it really just makes it feel more natural even when you're working with things that are made out of styrofoam. Um, so over on the other side, I have more pumpkins and I chose this orange pumpkin over here to kind of echo the color of these beautiful antique books right here. So they're kind of leather bound um, antique collector's editions. They have some gold on the spine, which I think will work really well with some other decor that we have in this room. And I just chose to kind of stack some pumpkins in different ways. One thing to do when you're working with faux pumpkins is a lot of people just want to sit them kind of flat on their mantle like this and just stack them all up. And it kind of makes for a boring and flat display. So I like to kind of turn them and angle them in different ways. You'll see I did that here. I did that with the white pumpkin. Again, it just makes it feel more natural. When working with unnatural elements, we want to make them feel as natural as possible. So I took these two, I've stacked them together. Um, if you're gonna stack your pumpkins, you may want to take the stem out of the bottom pumpkin so that the top one will sit on there without wobbling. It's very easy to do, they're just styrofoam. Um, and then I just put some different shades of green. I think the shades of green play off just the colors that are already in this room and look really, really great. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. I may add some tea light candles later this evening just to give it another glow, but we'll see what that looks like a little bit later on. But I hope this inspires you to create something for yourself. I mean, it's really simple. Um, you know, it took me no time to kind of throw this together. Thanks for stopping back by everyone. Remember, if you like this video, to like, comment, subscribe, and click the bell for more content. Take care.